history over the last couple thousand years. That isn't what's happened. You know, gold has emerged uh, as the global store of value, and it's held that position, you know, literally for, for a couple thousand years. That's an awesome run. We now have something that we think is functionally much, much better. So we would expect over time, not in a day, not in a week, not in even five years, but we would expect over time for some of the people using gold as a store of value to switch to Bitcoin. Yeah. This is a great point, and unfortunately, uh, I've always preached owning a diversified portfolio, and I do own gold and Bitcoin. Um, definitely own a lot more Bitcoin than gold, but it does pain me because I do have a good amount of money, not just in gold. I also, and like I said, if you are someone who's in investing in precious metals, this is why it's not a good idea to just put all your money in one asset class, because um, I've also invested in silver and uh, palladium. So uh, it is unfortunate to see this uh, destruction of gold. And then um, I do still feel like gold will always have value um, just on the jewelry and the bling part. So hopefully uh, rappers continue that trend because, you know, <laughs> famous people won't be wearing uh, anything Bitcoin on them. So uh, I still think this is a good opportunity to buy the dip. So if you are investing in crypto, you might want to also just hedge your portfolio, own a little bit precious metals. And if they continue to get killed like this, I would definitely buy maybe 5 10%. Um, but yeah, long term, I think the outlook for crypto looks much better for precious metals. But uh, hopefully I've beaten you guys down enough about the diversification. And I think it's important that you have some precious metals. If you really think gold is garbage, look into silver, look into um, palladium uh, and other commodities uh, that you might be interested in. Um, but let me know your thoughts on this uh, and I will talk to you guys soon.